this video is way, way overdue. Hi, I'm Ellie, and I'm assuming that if you've somehow stumbled upon my channel, this video, you know what The Hate You Give is. Um, for those of you who don't know, it is originally this beautiful, beautiful book written by Andy Thomas, and it's a debut book for her, and it literally was huge on booktube on the internet in general. Everybody was hyping it up before it came out, when it came out, and it got so much but It was literally on the New York Best Times best-selling list for like a million weeks, and well-deserved too. Basically, if you do not know what this is, it is it is about, or it was written, inspired by the Black Lives Matter the Black Lives Matter movement. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I can't speak, I don't. It's Own Voices, written by a black author. This is a debut book, debut author, and you're basically following a teen girl who watches, or witnesses her, one of her best friends being shot by a white police officer, and you're following her life and the community life after that happens, where she lives in a predominantly black community and then the school she goes to which is white rich kids and so you see her struggling to come to terms with what everything means how her life is going to change how this changes society and the world you know in a bigger scale than just her own life in her own community now it was recently turned into a movie and my issue here is why has no one been talking about this? When the book, before the book even came out, it was so hyped. Everybody on BookTube was talking about it. They were anticipating it. It was on TV yards. It was, when it was read, everyone was talking, making videos about it, reviews, everything. But I feel that the movie hasn't gotten as much buzz as the book did. And I understand, BookTube is a bookish community. So it's not... It's not limited to books, but that's probably what we're going to talk about. But still, as a book-to-movie adaptation, you would assume it would get more buzz? Mainly what I have seen from the book who were talking about it, it is the bigger booktubers who got to be extras in it or whatever. I don't know, I didn't want to make a story. But that's kind of all I've seen that is like, hey, this movie came out, watch this movie. And like, no shade to them, like that's fucking dope that you got to be in the movie, like, duh. And like, any kind of publicity you can give this movie is phenomenal, but I just don't understand why more people aren't hyping up this movie in this community, because it's so, it's so important. Like, one of the movie is phenomenal, and the book was phenomenal, like, it's, I don't understand why there's not more talk about it. So let me backtrack a little bit. I originally read the book when it first came out. Like obviously it's like everybody else. I was so excited, I was super hyped. It was like unheard of, really. And it, it touched me, it made me cry. I was crying about the whole thing. And now it's an incredibly powerful book. Like I don't know anybody who could read it and not like it. And I think the fact that it is a YA book, even if you don't read YA, it is, the fact that it's accessible to that younger audience makes it even more powerful. And to see that translated onto a screen was beautiful. I think it was w beautifully done. I, it was beautifully done. It was, the acting was beautiful. We had huge names in this movie too, like the actors in that. Phenomenal. It was so good. And now I'm normally a person who's like, hey, read the book before you watch the movie. I will not watch the movie until I read the book if it's an adaptation or the book is always better than the movie. Like, I'm that like 75% of the time. But with this, I was so like, I remember after I'd watched the movie, I made a post and I was like, oh my God, watch this movie. Everybody watch this movie. And I was very much like, I didn't care if you didn't read the book. Usually I'm like, oh my God, you didn't read the book first. Blasphemous. But I'm like, no, if you want to watch this movie, if you, anything, if you did watch and didn't read the book, like, Thank you, that is phenomenal. But I completely, 100% urge you, if the movie made you feel anything in any type of way, but I don't know how it wouldn't, please pick up the book. It is so important to show publishing houses and production companies that these stories are important and necessary, that they are in demand and needed. Because personally for myself, I am not black, but I am Mexican. In the city, or the 
valley area that I grew up in, it is very much predominantly Mexican. I live about 30 minutes away from the Mexican border in California, and you see, you see that shift. It was very personal to me when I read this book because I felt it so deeply with where I lived and how I grew up. You see the shift between the Mexican kids and the white kids, the rich and the poor. I live in a very impoverished city, and it, it very much was the same thing with the violence and the drugs and the gangs. And, like, I've seen police brutality all the time, like, with my father and, you know, like, getting pulled over by the cops for dumb reasons. But I also felt it because in the book and movie, or in the story, I'm going to just call it the story, the, our main character, her star, that's her name, her uncle is a cop, and so you, that's just a big divide for her, where she's all like, I need to protect myself, I need to, but I need to do this for my friend, I need to do this for my community, but then all cops can't be bad, because my uncle is a cop, because my father also worked for law enforcement. I would see him get, he's not a cop, but I would see him get pulled over by cops, and they would initially, you know, targeted him as this one specific thing because he is Mexican and the only time they would ever be like okay whatever is when they'd run his license and see that he works for the law and stuff but you see the way he talks about it about cops and things and I grew up having this weird distorted view where like well the law can't be bad because my dad works for it and he provides comfort for the family and that's cool they're giving us this but then I see that other side and I see how it affects other people who are less fortunate than me that are Mexican that live here and that was such a weird thing for me that I saw reflected in Star and in the stories and stuff. And, you know, I just related so much to it. And I am not personally a black, you know, like the main character. So I just thought it was very powerful that it could touch so many different types of people, regardless of your skin color, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of just rambling here. My main point is this book is very powerful and you I mean it needs it deserves the hype it got and it the movie deserves just as much if the amount of people who were talking about it when the book was coming out and when it did come out and we're doing reviews if the movie got that much attention imagine how huge this would blow up and how huge the this movement would come because I know after reading um, the Hate You Give, and after that came out, I was on the fucking New York Times bestselling list for so long that opened the gateway to more books. So now, like, I believe um, Tyler Johnson was here. That's another one that's based off of the Black Lives Moves, Black Lives Matters movement. And I'm not saying that books, that there were no books before The Hate You Give that discussed these same topics and weren't as powerful and impactful, but I'm just saying that you saw how much the the hate you give open up that for other books to be published for people to pick up these stories and see how necessary they were and i just think that if we gave the movie that much attention imagine imagine how much more we could get from that in a like with for example with love simon when simon was on the agenda that book came out it is about a gay white boy, but it is written by a cis white straight female author. And personally for myself, I related to that book and Simon not because he was gay, but it was his personality. But watching the movie and it got such a huge release and it was directed by a gay man, it felt more impactful towards me. And I think that really shows that those stories are necessary in more formats than just a book and by people who are experiencing these things. The main point is that if more people were talking about this movie in the way that they were talking about the book, imagine the impact it would have on society, on publishing houses, on production companies to m pick up more stories like this, to release more stories like this by people who are experiencing it and I just think it would be like that's huge and you have this whole community that can get behind this why would you I just don't understand why no people aren't talking about it anyway I know this is so overdue and the movie has been out for like a month I really wish I could have just bit the bullet started making videos a month ago done this video so 
if anybody who somehow stumbled upon this, I'm not expect. I'm fucking barely losing my third video. Like, I'm not gonna get a million views or something. But, like, my main thing is, I'm pretty sure the movie's still in the theaters. It better still be in the theaters. Please, please go watch it. And just pick up the book afterwards, if you didn't. I'm assuming that if you were here, if you somehow stumbled upon this, it's because of the book, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. You know what the book is, you probably read it, everyone's read it, but if you haven't, please pick it up, please buy it, please talk about it, give things the hype that they deserve. I understand if you are not the demographic, I don't fucking know what that means, but if you are not a person of color, if you are not, I'm just going for everything, if you are not a person of color, if you are not queer, if you are cisgendered, if you are white as hell, and all this shit, like, if even if you are not the, demo, the demographic of that book, if you are not, you cannot see yourself in that, so many other people can. And those voices are voices that have been silenced for so long that it is so important for you to help them be heard so that way more voices can be heard and can have their story be out there. So please, if you see this, if the movie is still out, you haven't seen it, please go watch the movie. Please go pick up the book if you haven't. Just give this story and Angie Thomas all of the love it deserves. Okay, sorry for the rambling. I know. Okay, bye. Love you.